Hello there, this is Lauren with Bold Notion Quilting, and I would like to show you guys today how to um, combine some fillers so that you can do those really cool background fill designs um, that have a little more interest than maybe just uh, one design. So what you want to do, uh, first things first, is you want to think of three different designs that will go with the motif. You could easily just do two designs, three gives it a little more of an elegant heirloom kind of feel. Um, so you want to get two or more designs. So why don't we do a leaf design? We will do, pebbles just take forever, so I don't want to do pebbles. So we're going to do leaves. We're going to do um, feathers, we did that one, and concentric circles, we did. So we'll do leaves, we'll do scallops, and if you notice, those are kind of like the same shape, so there won't be a huge contrast between those. And for a third fill, it's funny because I kind of just get hung up on my own kind of thing. For a third fill, we'll go ahead and do... Maybe some back and forth. I mean, those seem kind of odd to pair together, but let's see how it works. So, leaf, scallop, and the back and forth. Um, I think that there's only a video for the back and forth on my Facebook, so if y'all need one for the leaves past what you see in this video, if you need a little more instruction on that or the scallops, please let me know, and I will make y'all a video for it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started. My threads are all tacked off, and it's just important to start. So, I like to work bottom to top and left to right. I do find myself at times kind of just going wherever, so I'm just going to start where my brain is okay with it. So we're going to do some scallops. And the cool thing about scallops is that you can kind of travel and do them in any direction that you need to. They just kind of work. And you want to do your filler, you want it to be um, appropriate in size to the area that you're filling. So if you're doing this across a huge, big part of a quilt, you might want to make these really big. If they're really small, like a four inch portion of a quilt to fill in a background design, you might want to make them much smaller than this. So keep that in mind as you're selecting the size and the layout. And then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do some back and forth. And then we'll go into a leaf design. And you just switch it up. And then right here we have scallops, so let's just fill in that space with scallops. Now we're trapped, how do we get out? So we'll just continue that back and forth line here, and then we'll keep going. So I think it's really important for y'all to see that like, not everything's easy. Everyone has to kind of come up with their own ideas of what designs work well. And I'll find out when I'm done with this because I haven't tested it on paper yet, um, if it's, going to work well together. Now something else you might want to do to make this design work for you would be to draw yourself maybe some little squares that you or shapes of some kind actually that would be really cool where the back and forth design kind of just fits and flows. Ooh, I had no idea where I was going to go with that. So we'll just echo it again to detract from the wonky line I just made. And then we'll do a leaf. Cool thing about scallops is how you can travel. Now if you're a sit-down quilter, the cool thing about sit-down quilting is that you can turn your quilt to go whatever direction that you need it to go. If you are a long arm quilter, you don't really have that luxury. You have to learn to do your designs inside and out left to right and everywhere. Okay, so before I leave, it's getting super thready in that one area. 
want to make sure that I fill that space. When I find myself getting lazy, I'll do these super fat swing outs, which I don't mean to do, but it happens. If I'm being honest. All right, so now we've got some leaves and some scallops touching. So let's change it up. And let's go with the back and forth. I wanted to take up a little more area. The cool thing about these designs is that they're really forgiving. So if I want to do two to three echoes on a leaf, I can, and it won't look weird. Same thing with the um, scallops. You can do as many echoes as you need to to really make it work for you. kind of closed off this area. If we wanted to, um, we could do some more back and forth, but what I would do is kind of try to get it lower. And I'm just gonna keep doing some of these leaves up in here. You can always use your ditch to travel if you want. And you just want to switch it up and try to keep them, if you can, um, as symmetrical like apart as you can. That will help you be um, more okay with the way that your overall fill ends up. We're almost done here. So bear with me. Sorry if I'm going slow. Um, these multiple fills actually hurt my brain and uh, <laughs> You know, they're a little, they take a little more thought and it's because you have to kind of think ahead with what you're doing to get to where you want to go. So like, I just finished up some scallops, they got really close to each other. So now I'm going to um, fill in this area with a back and forth just because I want to finish my design. And then I'm going to work my way into this hole and try to travel along what I've already stitched and work my way out. Okay, so this is just a good example of how you can take three different designs. Even three designs, you're not sure how they would work together. I just kind of put them in. Now, if these were matching thread on my background, this would just look like some really nice texture in the back. This is a little more fun. Um, you could choose a little more elegant designs if you wanted to, like over here we've got the swirls and the pebbles and the feathers, but those take a long time and I already did a video on that. So I thought I would show you something a little different. And if you guys really like these multiple fills, let me know and I'll try to combine some different ones to kind of help you wrap your head around it. And I know that in turn it'll help me kind of get better at it as well. So um, thank you all so much for uh, watching this video today. Please uh, give it a like and share. You can see some of my finished quilts on Instagram at Bold Notion Quilting and some YouTube videos with some different kinds of fills. The, the longer videos are usually on YouTube because they're quite difficult to load to Facebook um, at Bold Notion Quilting on YouTube as well. Take care and happy quilting all.